In this video, Sizo discuss our question 8 for this question paper in November 2019. Well, question 8 is about the electrochemistry, right? Specifically, it's a galvanic cell or the voltaic cell. Now, in the description below, there is a link for my questions in the corner for this question paper. Well, question 8 is a standard electrochemical cell set up between two standard half cells jongo bas bona la in the diagram below so la nage on this half cell is in a tube and then beseke ba ba connector e look i voltmeter from this cell all the way up to this cell and then on this cell si abono guti we have a metal x Metal X as a in it can be magnesium, it can be aluminium, it can be anything else, we don't know. And then UQ is the salt bridge, and then as pegay lugan, it should be the plane for a moment. See, I won't go to the chup, but busy by feeder ilugan, e chlorine gas. So the chlorine gas now by feeder inside the chup, young gain inside this electrolyte. Oh, my figure the electrolyte in a chu to the oxidation undergone by um metal x meaning um metal x will lose my electrons as you can see x and then x x will lose my electrons then we join up the participants or the ions in the electrolyte uh, we enter each as a ion meaning we lose my electrons with x so x not got to lose my electrons the electrons they go along this path and then uh, uh, and get a half cell lena where the chlorine gas gains lauma electrons best i change u, u, u chlorine you change abe ion ge, right now 8.1 but that's booza but uh, what state the energy conversion that takes place in this cell uh, since this is a galvanic cell See as good galvanic cell there's a chemical um a chemical to electrical to electrical <coughs> energy conversion taking place conversion taking place 8.2 uh, what is the function of component x i believe there's three functions out of the three functions of e salt bridge the component q is a salt bridge so the compo one of the the functions for a salt bridge is what uh, it completes the circuit it completes the circuit Without the salt bridge, we won't have a complete circuit, and then we won't have a, vo a voltmeter reading if a snail or a salt bridge because of a complete circuit, right? Now my electrons naga flow, come le a a a a we le back la a a loganja kon. So it completes the circuit. Another one. It maintains what the cell, the ionic neutrality between the two half cells. So it completes the circuit, completes the ilugangi. It balances the ionic, um, the ionic neutrality between the half cells. That's that's another function for Q. And then the third one, it pro it also provides the pathway. Or it it also allows a movement for our ions as well, right? Because of the as good in the salt bridge, we need to have a salt as a maintainer the the ion balance between the two cells. So the other the salt lana yeah dissolve and then iba our ions. So the salt bridge it, it provide a pathway. With lama ions again, so that I maintain a little balance between the half cells. Now, 8.3. Okay, 8.3, but X is a metal. A voltmeter, read, a voltmeter connected across the cell initially registers. So, this is Masipeini EE cell. 
E cell. What's if E cell? The EMF, right? It registers 1.49 volts. So it's given, Nyla, it's given, right? 8.3. Use a calculation to identify metal X. Okay. E cell is equal to E uh, cathode minus E anode. E anode. Now, what's it E cell? Now, between the two, which one is a cathode? Which, which one is an anode? Since Lana Gugu U X, there's the oxidation. Um, it means U X we 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 anode again, since that's where oxidation takes place, right? Uh, so the anode is unknown. The value for the anode is unknown, but for the cathode, we know with the that's where reduction takes place, where there's chlorine. Now as I see tole iloganje ama. Our potentials from our table for chlorine, like chlorine, it's 1.36. So 1.36, 1.36, and then the E cell, the EMF is given as 1.49. Now, let's transpose basic arithmetic or algebra. To solve an equation yes so i'm transposing this to the left hand side and then this one to the right hand side you told them one you go 1.36 minus 1.49 this value now figure up your one negative now let's calculator so to a negative number this one is less than this so is over negative one point one point one point what's happening much one point three six minus one point four nine equal to negative zero point one three V right so when I get now to the total value, it's a value come in we search on your on your table over on what it belong to which value if it belong to which metal on that table so as born again and uh, identify a lead now we lead la it's minus 0 0.13 so it correspond an only value yako. so it means your metal it's what it's a lead it lead the metal yako again uh, i also say identify so therefore x is equal to pb pb according to your periodic table she has go to pb pb represent a lead all right now 8.4 8.4 but you write down the name or formula of the reducing agent uh, all right check Aguila. let's go back now lead a to be now lead a to we need to compare between the lead um the, the lead which is the metal is that we identify much and the chlorine so come along for was with the which one is the uh, reducing agent between the two so among tatok bega these arrows on the right hand side of the table as well as the left hand side on the table on the left hand side the arrow is pointed down in combisa the increasing oxidizing ability so now sugar from bottom from top to bottom the oxidizing ability here increase i mean chrome is a weaker oxidizing agent than for for example any is silver and then on the right hand side increasing reducing ability it means e is silver nice silver la, 
is a weaker reducing agent than a copper. I'm, I'm just making a, a look at example. So it means that a lead is a stronger reducing agent since it's sugar from top to bottom. Mfuna in mfuna a reducing agent from top from bottom to top of the table from the bottom of the table to the top of the table it's increasing reducing ability right so among compare I chlorine ne lead i can see that a lead has a stronger reducing ability than any than chlorine so it means uguti the answer to lana it's going to be x metal x or lead or lead right 8.4 the reducing agent is lead he presented the argument yamla because la pak table be sugar from bottom to top we realized with oh there's an increasing reducing ability so lead you win over e chlorine for the reducing ability title now 8.5 8.5 okay so eraser la uh, we're saying it 8.5 8.5 or 8.5 the reading on the voltmeter becomes zero after the cell operates for several hours 8.5.1 give a reason for this by referring to the rates of oxidation and reduction half reactions taking place in the cell hmm. okay bagag si azuta ma galvanic cells ama ama galvanic cells is wa seven sa kuma battery right and uh, the battery after some time lenzani li ya pele it means lama reactions akho na lama half cells lawa ah uh, sort of like a uh, run out of his strength over time right so the reason why the reading on the voltmeter becomes zero after this cell operates for several hours it's because of and also explain as he explain in terms of equilibrium right equilibrium lama lama there's a reaction taking place leo reaction and i stop in fact i stop isuge kusuge like ama I'm a rates of reaction for the half cells are equal in a way. You have one? So Sisuke City E Iloganji the reaction the reactions have reached equilibrium. Reached equilibrium they have reached the e equilibrium and the rate of forward of forward reaction is equal to rate of reverse reverse reaction reverse reaction so the rate of what reaction equal to the rate of the reverse reaction that's where we reach any equilibrium. Now, 8.5.2. But how will the reading on the voltmeter be affected? If a silver nitrate solution is now added to the chlorine half cell and the precipitate form, meaning it is an increase, huh? it increases. Now, let me explain using Uli Chetlia. Uli Chetlia, we know that if there's a disturbance with equilibrium, equilibrium will try to re-establish equilibrium by counteracting that change. And if you increase equilibrium, is re-establish a new equilibrium by decreasing whatever was increased, right? So, nang etai luganji is silver nitrate nga pagule cell le. It means I'm, I'm, I'm actually decreasing i luganji, decreasing i, i chlorine because of the precipitate a formayo. 
is due to this reaction here, guys. Here chlorine, now silver nitrate. So therefore, uh, since it decrease, I guys, e chlorine, it means that e if what reaction is over favored, Let me demonstrate la. Uh, since it's a uh, chlorine, I think it. Uh, it's chlorine gas. Anish, the chlorine is ani. It lose ama electron. So so you chlorine la. Two. Uh, plus lead. I lead okay. Lead gain ama electrons. Lead na bisi nza ani. It lose ama electrons. So you about PB two plus no. No PB, la. no PB. So this is as in saying, that there are half reactions in our combine again. So this one, it's what it's a reduction. This one, it's what it's oxidation, right? So by decreasing the chlorine, by decreasing the chlorine, we favor the forward reaction. So therefore. The reason why voltmeter ever affected here increase I'm over. If I'm for I'm favoring the forward reaction, more electrons will be transferred to the, the half cell yellow guy, chlorine because of it chlorine and yeah decrease. So by decreasing it chlorine, I'm favoring the forward reaction. So that's the reason why voltmeter increase and the increase in value. So if you do it, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Now we enjoy it. Please leave a like. Um, we subscribe, man. There's great content in this channel. Uh, I'm um, in the description box. Don't forget to put a link for my video. I'm creating for this question paper. Check them out. Check them out. Um, yeah, I just want to video land a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.